Okay, chapter 11, liquid, solids, and intermolecular forces. Um, geckos are cool. Um, what, why can geckos climb up glass? Here's a picture of a, a gecko on a glass window. How do they do that? They're molecular forces, very good. If, if you zoom in on their feet, they've got all these little, I used to know the word for that. It's a biology word, so Areola. I've repressed it. Areola. I don't know. That could be it. Um, all these little fibery things. And so the surface area here is actually very large. And so the gecko can climb the glass because of the intermolecular forces present between the ends of these little fibers on its feet and the glass itself. These intermolecular forces exist between all substances, all molecules and all atoms. They are significant only at very short distances. Um, the reason that we have liquids and solids at all is due to intermolecular forces. If we had no intermolecular forces, everything would be gases, and life as we know it could not exist. Many um, physiological processes are highly dependent on intermolecular forces. Whether a substance is a solid or a liquid at a given temperature depends on the relative strength of the intermolecular forces compared to the thermal energy that is present in the molecules at, the, at that temperature. 